Live from Lala Rink in North Andover, Massachusetts, it's Hockey East Women's Action as Merrimack and Holy Cross battle in Game 2 of their weekend series. This afternoon as we are ready to roll, John. So Merrimack checks in with a 3-7-1 mark. Holy Cross at 2-8-1. Gill swings it to the far circle. Reeb looking for space. Engels fakes the slap, goes low. Centering pass, they get the shot on, save made, and the Warriors celebrating. They are able to knock in the rebound in front on the power play at 8.46. Merrimack leads 1-0. It's Emily Oosterveld. We talked about her in the open. We sure did, John, and she kept working hard. Watch here. Pictures tell the whole story. Slap shot from the midpoint. No, it's going to be a pass. Down low, heads up. Now here's where it is. Nice rag pad save. You can see the puck trickle right between the blade and the post. Delay call, but the official, as you can see, right on top of it. It'll come back up high for Langfels. Very stable defend. A cross ice pass shot score. Brent Sorella, as they work it around from the near circle, Sorella scores on the power play. We're all tied at one. Pick the far side, and that just wrapped all around the crossbar. And the Holy Cross fans that have made the trip here to North Andover are very happy with the power play goal there. Just 16 seconds into the power play. Great puck movement. Now it's battled for. Engels covers the point. She'll go cross ice. Nemes with a shot. And it's the same and a loose puck score. Merrimack will take the lead. Madison Oakers should get credit for the goal. It's 2-1 to one Merrimack. Ironic after the power play, we talked about on the first power play goal for Holy Cross, could the Warriors counter punch? They did on the second one, it was a quick counter punch. 11 39, there was no power play at the other end, but there was a successful penalty kill. So, can you come back? Michaels looking to center one. Puck hit the skate of Katie Kaufman. Crusaders have it on the half wall. Quick shot, Hogarth the save, and it trickles in. With just under 29 seconds to play here in the second period, Holy Cross has tied it up at 2-2. Michaels will get the tying goal. Well, Holy Cross was not to be denied. Scoring in the last minute, 29 seconds to be exact, or even 28.7 as you can see the puck just triple, trickled over. That's Madison Michaels, her first career goal. My goodness, the Boston University transfer from Needham, Mass. Not only is it her first collegiate goal, but it's her first collegiate point. From the far circle, a shot right on. Save is made, rebound, score! Katie Kaufman, as Jack Edwards would say, a juicy rebound that Kaufman was able to jump on. You figure the team's leading scorer is not gonna be held down for long. Katie Kaufman, put yourself in the position where the puck is going to be, not where it is. Kaufman, Set up in the slot, as you can see. Then move, figuring there's going to be a shot from the right side. And I bet you I can get the rebound if it comes out. That is a two-foot putt right there for Katie Kaufman. She's not going to miss that one. I love the golf reference, by the way. That, the Warriors will chip this loose puck out to center ice. And now it comes over to Peyton Evans. She'll back in into the Holy Cross zone where Fortunato has it. Two minutes to go. Almost too many men on the ice, uh, too many. And there goes the goaltender as they get the extra skater on. Shot, save! Puck is in! It rolls in. The initial save was made by Hogarth, and that puck rolled ever so slowly across the line. Brock, I think Alexia Moreau will get the game tying goal here. You are correct. At 18.08, we've seen a couple trickle past Hogarth. Let's get a look here and see the verdict. Shot in, and that's one that, that's definitely one that Callie wants to, to make the stop on there. She had it. She didn't look like she had any traffic in front. There's a defense, defenseman in front, but I think that's a, a save that she makes nine out of 10 times. Well, let's see now. Would they be looking at something here? It appears. Appears like they're going to take a look, Brock, and I'm not sure what they could be looking at here. So, oh, but, maybe that play on the boards where the stick came high, but but 
if anything, the Merrimack player is guilty of causing a, a cross check for him. Let's take a look there. And there's referee Stephen Saul. It's taken this long. It, again, this is really what not a. Oh, no goal. Wow. So something egregious happened on the Holy Cross side, apparently. And Katie LaChapelle is getting the explanation on the far side, Brock. And she does not seem. She does not seem pleased. John. Okay. Are you talking about if I was Holy Cross? Right. Try to go. I, Go to an open player, but it's not going to matter. Now. And Merrimack will jam it behind the net, and the Warriors will escape with a three to two victory. Some nervous white knuckle moments there for Merrimack at the end. Brock Holy Cross had apparently tied up the game, but it was overturned, and the Warriors pick up their fourth win. Good solid effort by the Warriors, but I tip my cap to Holy Cross as well. They fought hard, been in a tough position. They haven't won since the beginning of October. They were game on this day, but the Warriors prevail. So Merrimack will improve to 4-7-1, and 3-6-1 and one in Hockey East. Holy Cross will dip to 2-9-1, and 1-7-0 one, and oh in Hockey East. And hop to seventh place now in, in the standings. Outstanding. Well, that's going to do it for our broadcast here at Merrimack College tonight. Warriors with the 3-2 win. They'll travel to New Hampshire for their next game on Friday. For my broadcast partner, Brock Hines, producer KJ Cardinal, and our entire Pack Network crew, I'm John Leahy saying so long from North Andover, where the final score for the final time is Merrimack 3, Holy Cross 2. All games airing on the ESPN Networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.